So yeah, in today's video I'm going to show you how to clean up your Skyway Tough 2 wheels. Um, as you can see here, you've got some brake marks, some black brake marks from the brake pads. Um, and these are pretty unsightly, don't look very good. So what we're going to aim to do is get these black ring marks off. Now, um, this is not an easy quick job as far as I can make out. Um, but I'll show you a couple of steps to... Um, maybe get these marks off uh, and it's a good idea to replace your pads with some white ones uh, which I have got on mine which I'll be getting mine in soon so anyway let's yeah, start off with got a couple of gloves here so you might need these and I'll tell you, I'll show you why in a minute so some yeah good kind of kitchen gloves these are heavy duty black ones uh, same thing marigold gloves that you do for washing up basically um, and also we have here you can see that I've got some steel wool soap pads. Yeah, people start to freak out when they see these. They think, well, that's a bit too abrasive to clean your wheels. But actually, um, I've been told this is good. So also, just got a tub of water. Got a tub of water there as well. And got some washing up liquid. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna put some washing liquid up in this tub of water. Just put a bit in there. I'm gonna put my gloves on now. You can see, gloves are going on. Get these gloves on and get one of these wire wire wool things there. It's gonna soak it in the water, give it a decent soak with some, squeeze it off there. And through these wheels here, what I'm gonna do with this pad here going to gently go over there so you can probably see already that is coming away nicely now you think with this wire wall it would uh, mark the wheels but actually it doesn't see as you can see already when you look at the difference there already um, so the marks are coming away quite easily actually a lot easier than I thought um, I've got a bit of tissue as well, so it's going to leave a bit of soap on the wheel. Uh, get the tissue to wipe this away. As you can see there, already a massive difference. So, I'll carry on doing this. I might speed this up on a loop, so uh, you can see. So I might be able to speed this up, but as I'm going... Just gently go across, don't have to go too mad with it. Working your way until you get it all off really. I think it will take some time. That's all I've got to say. Um, it's not a quick job. So yeah, just take your time and go over. I'm also going to clean the inside of this bit here. So you can see that okay. Yeah, so uh, that's going to be decent. Let me just pull the focus on there a little bit for you. Make sure if it's all in focus, which it should well be. Okay. Yeah, so just carry on going around, getting these marks off. Like I said, not a quick job. And also, I started on this side here, so you can see on the other side, you know, they're already coming off. These do need cleaning though. These bits in here, I won't clean with the, with the wire brush. I'll just get a, a, a toothbrush and clean in there, I think. Make these nice and clean, because I've got a show to go to in a couple of weeks. And I want these to look decent. Never use <laughs> black pads on Skyway wheels because they are a bit of a pain to get off. Well, I say a bit of a pain, but I mean, look at this. This really is coming off quite nicely, to be fair. And, um, you know, it's quite abrasive, but I'm going for it, but it's not marking, it's not marking anything up. You can't see any marks there. So you might just need a bit of tissue or a cloth just to go over to see what you've done. I'm 
Yeah, look at that. That's quite a difference, actually. It's almost back to how it was, how it was normally. So yeah, once your pad starts to wear down, just switch it up for a new one. These are pretty good to last, though. Um, cheap. It's a really cheap way of doing it. Yeah, cheap and effective way. Cleaning up your wheels. I'll do another video as well, actually, to how to clean up the rest of the wheel. Pretty straightforward, really. You need to need a toothbrush. Some... Uh, I mean, it's like some dishwasher liquid. That'll do the job. This this is a bit more stubborn, this bit here. It's going to take a few, a few goings over. So, like I said, it's not a rush job, this. Take your time. You'll find your pad starts to fall apart after a little while, which is, this one is. I could have ideally done with a cloth rather than tissue to clean this off with. But get the idea, because we're going to have to get all this tissue off later. So yeah, so far, looking good. Still a few marks there, but it's just a case of going, going over it more and more. Got another pad there. Give it a quick soak. Doesn't need much. And off you go again. Like I said, quite abrasive, these pads. So you don't need to put much pressure on there. But yeah, looking good. Slowly coming off. Put a bit more water, I think, on that one. Tissue to clean that off with. And what I do is, once I've done these, I'll, um, I'll uh, show you the end results. So I show you the end results of the completely clean wheel. That's when I've cleaned all of them. These are not too bad to be fair, they're not too dirty. Um, they were in pretty decent nick when I bought these, other than the, other than the brake marks. So yeah, like I said, just go around, take your time, don't add too much pressure. I'd say depending how bad it is, you're probably looking at an hour or so maybe to get these off. Maybe less actually, we'll see. I mean, so far, I've done roughly about eight minutes. And already, huge difference. I think the actual the, the washing up liquid actually really helps with making sure that it's not too abrasive. Um, I must admit, when I first someone told me to use a Brillo pad, I was like, "What? You are joking, aren't you?" <laughs> and uh, I was like, "Nah, surely that was scratch." Doesn't at all. Oops, a few lines there. But already immediately, a hundred times better. Yeah, a hundred times better that is. So, 
website. Let me get some shish here. Just give it a bit of a quick clean up. It's made a bit of a mess. Just a quick clean up to show you really how far we've gone already. So, look. so that's about five, about 10 minutes that. Just me going over there and look at the difference already. I know there's a lot of marks from the tissue and soap, but that gives you a general idea. of how quickly how easily they come up so yeah look at that already very nice show you the other side i've already had a go at this as you can see a few marks there still we will need cleaning up but yeah here you go so what i do is when i clean this up i shall put a video on here we'll add this on to the end to show you the end result okay great well thanks for watching and uh, join me on the next one i'm going to be doing a few more videos um, how to remove handle grips from your bmx bike uh, changing some decals and a few other bits and pieces i'm going to do to my amico 1202 mongoose bmx okay brilliant thanks for watching